From this one spot in Dallas, you will witness so many different ways we move. And from that same spot, Uber gives us a glimpse into how we may start moving in the future. We're not trying to roll in at night with a thousand cars in a city. We're trying to do this gradually. We sat down with Eric Mayhofer, the CEO of Uber's Advanced Technologies Group. He heads the self-driving car project. Radar images, laser images, ultrasonic images of all of the streets. These two vehicles will be driven on every road in Dallas, mapping out Dallas, starting in November. That will lay the groundwork for self-driving cars, possibly in Dallas's future. I'm going to go back to what we talked about earlier. On Tuesday, Uber held its first town hall on the project, a mix of mostly excitement and some concern. I don't know that I trust a machine to drive or technology to drive a car. There are others who feel like Dorothy Piercy, worried about accountability and liability. In 2018, an Uber test car hit and killed a woman in Tempe, Arizona. That was a um, really tragic day for us. That shook us to our core. We did a deep dive an internal review, top to bottom, on all the things that we do. Eric says Uber is about offering a safe product, a solution to the one billion vehicles that share our roads. This is all still very far from reality. If all goes right, Dallas would see its first cars in several years. Until then, we'll all find our different ways to move in Dallas. I'm Joe Paniker.